Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to Talk of Shame. I'm Christopher Rules. I'm here with Steven. I'm like so shocked after last night. Everything was crazy. Two fights. Like, yeah. what the hell? Last night was crazy. It was mad real on the right one. Imagine nah, saying it went down. Yeah, it's like, I think this is like the first time in Are You The One History there was two fights that went down in one episode. I mean, it was insane. Yeah, it was it was a great episode. Uh, it definitely uh, kept everyone on their feet, that's for sure, or, or some people off their feet. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, so before we even start to get into talking about it, we're going to run a clip and let's, let's get into it. Who he thinks his perfect match is, so. Who's that? Julia. But <laughs> no, it's just that he thinks she's his perfect match when he knows her about as much as he knows Emma. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that, that's It's funny. really cute Dude. that you guys match tonight because your souls don't match and it's obvious. Oh. So ride it out as long as you can. I've been the only person playing this with their third eye. But Gio's third eye is his hole because it just talks so much. You don't know her. You don't know. I know. You're playing any, meeny, miny, I know mo. you. Turn around and talk to I know to you're Ryan. a coward and a snake. I ain't no coward and snake. I know you're a coward. Let me tell you something. You looked at me dead in my eye and said you would never step in between us until that door closed. And guess what, mother? My mind. That door didn't close. What are you getting up for? Steven. That door didn't close. So turn the <laughs> around. How the yeah, door didn't let me close. Me. You a little wolf. You a guess what? You look you like a lion, wolf. bro. You a pussy. Bark. You a pussy. And you a bitch. You a bitch. Because I was there. Hey, hey. All right. That's it. That's it. Shut it down. Shut it down. You are not here to get physical with each other like that. Let's just go ahead and get you guys locked in. That's it. Shut it down. <laughs> Yo, I'm back with Steven, and I can't believe, like, all this stuff. Like, it was nuts. You got, like, you fell into a table. Like, what the hell happened? Well, first off, like, rewatching it, Pro Prosper is hella strong. Okay. I was sitting there looking at Gio, and Prosper had my, my hands behind my back because you know, obviously no one wanted anyone to swing. No one wanted anyone to get potentially kicked off the show. When Gio like, un tried to like, get out of Cam's grip, Prosper just pulled me back, and I tripped over a light fixture, and everyone was just break, shadow, oh. piss everywhere. Okay. It was crazy. It was crazy, but I just – in that moment, I had been, I was fed up with Gio. I was fed up with everything that he was talking about. And I just had a little note, bro. Like, he lied. He looked me dead in the eye. I think it was, like, episode four and told me he would never step in the way until that door closed. And the door didn't close, Gio. Yo, the setup to that scene was just epic. Like, you told me that door, if that door never closed, like, that whole moment was just so good for TV. I'm, like, still, like, freaking out after that. It was crazy. So many people thought it was, like, they're, like, was that scripted? Like, people I know, I'm, like, that was on the spot. I was just, I meant what I was saying. I, I know what I needed to say. And I it said was it. that good. It was that good. I mean, it does, it did seem, like, scripted as, like, how well you, like, pointed out that moment. It was so good. Um, and I thought that Geo threw you into the table. So, so Prosper was trying to hold you back and you fell into the table? Because it was, I didn't know it was right behind me. And as soon as I took my first step back, it was there. That's why I got up right away. Uh, okay, okay. Wow, man. So I'm, well, one thing I want to know is like, how much do you guys owe MTV after like all the stuff that was broken? Because I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys have destroyed that house. We should like do a video camera of like, showing everything that happened after the house like a before and after <laughs> yeah we uh we broke a decent amount of stuff preferably Gio and john but it was great television i'll tell you that like i think all the stuff that was broken was worth it yeah i mean we were trending number five on twitter like we were blowing up the social feed at that point like we were going crazy on social um and i and that was just it was just so crazy to see like it blow up to that point, you know, why did it even get that far? Like, you know, you stood up and you, ha you know, you stated what you needed to say and then like Gio ran over, like, why did it get to that point? Like, I can honestly say it got to that point because Gio was one of my best friends in the house, in the beginning, in the very early stages, he's one of my best friends. I love Julia. Um, she was so close, I was so close with her and he didn't respect her opinion. And 
it was it just was going for me and at that point I had to stand up and be like listen bro this isn't gonna happen anymore I'm done with it the rest of the house is done with it it's escalated too far and we're all it's, yeah. It's okay. yeah I mean we've seen that whole thing play out and like me as a viewer I was just wondering like was there anything behind the scenes that happened before that fight you know we've seen um like Gio pulled Kaylin and Julie aside and they talked for a moment and you know they he was trying to say something to them and he like walked away and like he blew up did that have anything to do with it getting that far yeah so at the Adam and Eve party we'll, we'll take it back to the Adam and Eve party there was you know a lot of mixed emotions it was a very emotional night and Gio kind of had a breakdown moment and um I kind of picked him up and helped him to the car and we had a long ride home from the Adam and Eve party where we exchanged a lot of mixed emotions and feelings and I, I almost thought it was like a bonding moment. Maybe this was going to come to an end. Um, yeah. He was trying to explain to me like where he was coming from and why I was doing it and vice versa. So when we got back to the house, he wanted to talk to Kaylin and Julia. I thought maybe this might have been the end of it. Apparently, he wanted to tell Kaylin and Julia that he loved them both equally and he didn't know what to do. He was torn between like, I don't know, some philosophical thing he was going to say. Mm -hmm. I thought it was BS. And... Uh, that's when Julia pulls away. Me and her basically go to bed. Gio sees me and Julia being our, you know, flirty, lovely, goofy selves. Turns, throws that bowl. More broken stuff, of course. And that's when everyone had to jump on him, tell him to calm down. And that's what led to that moment at the matchup ceremony. It wasn't wow, squash. Wow. He was just trying to, in my eyes, he was trying to weasel his way in and use maybe tricking me to get closer to her. And it just wasn't happening. It wasn't happening. I mean, so from the sounds of it at this point, you know, it sounds like it's a, a battle of egos and it sounds like Gio really just wanted Julia because he didn't want you to have her. Do you think that was it or do you think they had a genuine relationship? Because, you know, I asked him already, you know, why did he feel like Julia was his match on the last Talk of Shame? So, you know, was there anything that we didn't see or was that genuine? Like, did they have a connection and... You know, we just didn't see it all happen. Um, honestly, it was John 2.0. It was John all over again. He's sitting here just, he's looking and saying, didn't even know the girl. And honestly, if he had taken the time respectfully to get to know her, I might have would have understood. But no, it was just egos. And at that point, he was just really upset because he couldn't break me. I wasn't going to give into it. There was multiple times in the house where it was just like, instigated like trying to like poke and I was like bro I don't care you got playing games with me it was right. it was the ego thing as Caitlin would say it was a pissing contest <laughs> she was she I mean Caitlin always has the best like one liners I love her <laughs> she was probably one of my best friends in the house nice nice um so another thing too while you're watching it last night you know did you have any regrets you know, while it was playing out, was there, you know, a moment you were like, man, I shouldn't have said that? Or, or did you just kind of stand by everything you did last, did during that moment? I mean, I completely stand by everything. The only thing we're going to have is tripping over that freaking table, that glass, we're smashing it <laughs> mean, for good sound effects. But everyone's like, oh, did Geo get him? I was like, no, nah, it's tripped. But I have no regrets. I stood up for what I believed in and I stood by my girl and that was it. I was, I was happy with myself. Cool, cool. Okay. I mean, that's good to know. I, I really was wondering that. Um, and then I have something. There was this quote that you said that was pretty amazing. You said, Gio's third eye is his bleep hole because it just talks so much bleep poop emoji. <laughs> um, that, that quote was amazing. Like, how did you even it's come true. up with that? It's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> there's something actually... If someone knows it the most, it's Gio. He, uh, he would call me a uh, wizard in the house because I'd always come up with quick, like clapbacks and lines, or they would call me Ryan 2.0. Because I was always so quick to just come up with something on the spot. It's just, it's just my, who I am as a person. <clears throat> as a person. Well, you know, in vain of that line, we're gonna play a game called Third Eye Realness or BS. Okay, so, perfect. in this game, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna list off an inspirational wise quote and mm -hmm. you tell me if it's real 
or I'm going to list off a quote from Geo and you tell me if it was just Geo quote. So tell me if it's real or if it's a Geo quote. Got it? Yeah. Okay. So the first one is, so nobody's going to look out for me besides me. Uh, third eye realness. Third eye realness. That's Geo. That's Geo. <laughs> you got it. Um, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Is that a geo quote or a real quote? That's third eye BS. Okay, that's that was a real quote from Eleanor Roosevelt. Uh, if they Wait, third eye, is third eye BS geo? Third eye is uh, you could say geo, and then we'll just say real for uh, the uh, other people. Yes, Got it. Not, geo. <laughs> If they cut my tongue out and I have nothing but body language and energy, I'd be fine. Yeah, that's definitely a Geo quote. You got it. That's totally Geo. <laughs> um, know yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. Not Geo. Not, Not Geo. Geo. Not Geo. Yeah. You're right. That's Aristotle. <laughs> and last one. It's about loving smart, not loving blind. GL. All day. I think I made this game too easy. Yo, you got this too no, big. I don't, think, I don't think you made the game too easy. I think Geo makes the game too easy. Dang. Okay, okay. Um, the beef is still alive, I assume. <laughs> oh, you're so predictable. Yeah, wow. Okay. Well, that was, that was talk of shame. We went through everything. It's good to hear your side of the story after the fight. Um, can you tell us anything that we have look, have to look forward to in the next few episodes? The best is yet to come. Um, the right now, the house is, is split. The house is split down the middle between this whole situation. We have to win. We only have four beams for like how long? And there's I'm one. I'm trying to figure out when are you guys gonna get past four beams? Like you, you started off so good. Yeah, we did, and we've just been flatlined. And uh, the only way. We're ever gonna move forward is if we handle the one situation the house that needs to get handled. And that's me, Julia, and Gio. So you know that's gonna to need to get handled. So we'll see what happens. All right, all right. Well, can't wait to see it play out. Um, thank you guys for watch, watching Talk of Shame. That was it. We'll see you guys next week. Peace out. Catch it out, Monday nights.